Welcome everyone. Today I'll be doing differentiation where I'll first find the stationary points, then determine if the stationary point is a minimum or a maximum point. I'll be doing part one of this question. I have two curves where I'll be finding the stationary points on the following curves. I'll be doing the first curve this week and next week I'll do the other curve and also determine the nature of each stationary point. So this curve I have y equal x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x and to find the stationary point I will have to first differentiate and after differentiating this I'll equate it to be equal to 0 and solve for x. So to differentiate, we either write dy over dx or y prime. So differentiating this, x cubed, we will carry the 3 in front and subtract 1 from the power to have x squared. This will multiply 2 times 5, that gives me 10. So I'll have minus 10x to the 1, which is the same as 10x, because you subtract 1 from the power. And when you differentiate an x variable, it disappears, so it becomes 3. Now, this is a quadratic that I will now equate it to be equal to 0 and solve for x. Now, to solve for x, I need to factorize. So I multiply the two end numbers, AC method, that is. So multiplying 3 times 3, that's 9. So these two, I multiply 3 times 3 to give me 9, and we need two numbers that multiply to give me 9, and add to give me the center, which is minus 10. So the two numbers are negative 1 and negative 9. Those are the factors that can multiply to give me positive 9, but add to give me negative 10. Now these two numbers, I will be replacing the center, so I attach an x to them and I will have 3x squared minus 9x minus 1x. Some persons will say minus x. So minus 9x minus 1x plus 3 equals 0. Now I'm going to put the first two in a group and the last two in another group. So I'm grouping them. Now after grouping the first red bracket, I look at it and say, what can I factor out? I can factor out my 3 and the variable x. So factoring that out, I'm left with an x. So I'll have x in the first position that's left when we factor out. And minus 9x, we factor out 3x, so I'm left with minus 3. The next bracket, we factor out the minus 1, and what happened is that we have a change of sign. Anytime we factor out a negative sign, there's going to be a change of sign. So this will be positive x and a minus 3 here. So what I have, I'll have 3x minus 1. I group them together. And then x minus 3 equals 0. Now after having this, I need to solve. So I'll have to equate each of these brackets to be equal to 0. So 3x minus 1 will be equal to 0. Carry the 1 over. There's a change of sign. So I am going to have 3x equal positive 1. Then I divide both sides by 3. So this will be my x value. x is equal to 1 third. I will now do the same thing with x minus 3 equals 0. Solving for x. I will just carry the 3 over the equal sign, and there's a sign change, so x equal positive 3. Now, when you're finding stationary points, we have coordinates, x and y. So we have to find out what is y, and to find y, we substitute it into the original. The original is y equal x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x. So that is the original function. So substituting into this, I'm going to substitute x equal one third. So when I substitute x equal one third, that will give me y. 
So I'd have one third cube. And because I want it to be accurate, that's why I'm not using decimal. Minus five, I, and then one third square plus three times one third. Now three times one third, the threes are going to cancel, so I can go ahead and cancel these. And now simplifying, so one third Q, that will give me one over 27. And one third square is one over nine and times it by five. So that means I'll have five times one over nine, that's five over nine. And remember I cancel the three, so I just have a plus one. So adding this, my answer will be 13 over 27. So that's my Y value for the first stationary point that I have here, which is one third. So X is one third and Y is 13 over 27. Now I need to find the Y value for when X is equal to three. So I will have to substitute once more x equal 3 into the original function, which is y equal x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x. So substituting x equal 3, I am going to have 3 cubed minus 5 and 3 squared plus 3 times 3. So three cubed, that's 27. Three square is nine, and nine five is 45, and three three is nine. So 27 minus 45 plus nine will give me negative nine. So my stationary point, let's have it here. X is one third and Y is 13 over 27. And the next, is x is 3 and y is negative 9. And remember, stationary points is turning point or critical point. Now, the next part of the question asks us to determine the nature of each stationary point. To find the nature, I have to do the second derivative, which relies on the first. The first derivative was from the previous one that we did. That's 3x squared minus 10x plus 3. So we have to differentiate this another time, and that's what we call the second derivative. Now, some persons know the second derivative, which helps us to find the nature, if it's minimum or maximum. Some persons know it as d squared y over dx squared, while others know it as y double prime. So it's the same thing if you have it as y double prime. Now, I am going to differentiate this another time, d square y over dx square. So differentiating 3x square minus 10x plus 3, I will have 6x minus 10. So my next step is to substitute the x values. These are the x values, 1 third and 3 to determine if it is a minimum or maximum at that point. So for x equal one third, I am going to substitute, and for x equal three, I'm gonna do the same. So the six x minus 10, I replace x with one third. So I have one third times six minus 10. Three into six goes two times. So two times one is two minus 10. So my answer is minus 8 and the negative, which is less than 0, so therefore it's a maximum point. Once it's less than 0, meaning a negative value, we see the turning point, which is a stationary point, is a maximum. For x equal 3, substitutes where I see x, and 3, 6 is 18, so I have 18 minus 10, that gives me 8. So positive is greater than zero. So that means it's a minimum point. So this is how you do the nature. So once I have this, I'm able to define that the first turning point, x equal one third and 13 over 27, it's a maximum point. And the other point is a minimum point. And that's it. 
please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.